this video I'm going to explain the concept of zoom functions. And let's say we want to change the color of the water on each zoom level. To do that, we can turn this value into a zoom function. And we see this function icon here and we can click on it. And now I have different values for zoom level six and 10. So let's change this to two and this to three and add some more stops. And now I have the same color on all zoom levels. As I zoom in, it will obviously stay the same. But for example, I can change the color of the sec of the zoom level three to let's say yellow. Now, as we zoom in from two to three, it will turn yellow. And then we can say at four, turn into red. And at five, turn into blue. And it is blue. So we zoom out again and we see how it gradually changes. One value that you can tweak is the base value. So you can read up on the Mapbox GL style spec to better understand zoom level functions. And so with the base, we can modify how fast the color changes in this example. So we can say base four, and this will make it so that it suddenly changes. So it will immediately jump from one color to another. So as we go back, we will see that in effect. So you can play with the base value and you can use zoom functions for any property or even more complex ones. And you can also remove that again and turn them into normal values. And this is an especially useful tool for defining the size of text or also to change the color with each zoom level. And it's not so important when you initially start out, but as you want to improve the experience for your users, you should really play with that. And it saves you from creating different layers for different zoom levels. So definitely try out zoom level functions and read up on the Mapbox GL style specification for a deeper understanding of them. Thanks for watching.